school is not the kind of place you expect to find a jazz muso. That first day when you're walking around breaking ice, you know, and people say, oh, what do you do? And you say, I'm a jazz musician. And it's like this involuntary facial expression that's kind of going, really? now a full full-time academic at the University of Cape Town's uh, South African College of Music and I've been performing for a long time I've got albums out and all of that and I've done quite a bit of work on the scene and so I think the value that Henley has brought to me as a creative is kind of this um, just another branch you know another very thick branch to the work that I do and to my career I found myself just also over the past two and a half years being invited to to speak, you know, not only now on the music shows on the radio, on the radio shows, but also on the business slots, you know, but the business of music and this kind of amalgamation of, you know, the creative industry as a business. I got the honor of guest speaking or the, delivering the keynote address at the Gibbs online graduation last October. And I used jazz as a framework through which to really look at life and to approach studies, right? Jazz implores us to improvise, right? Jazz is something that is, it's a music and it's an art form that seeks to, to be free and to, to get emancipate people. You know, it requires synergies and, and collaboration. It doesn't matter who you are because the reality is that the, the winners are not predetermined by virtue of their positions and their professions. You know, I got to interview former chief financial officer of Spotify. You know, that was really incredible. And he's on the other side of the world. And I interviewed him for my MRC. So you've got to dig and got to knock and doors and emails and stuff and stuff will come through for you. The value that Henley's brought to me personally is that it's opened my eyes to the fact that you know, it's great to be on stage and to perform for thousands of people, but we get so bogged down in our talent and that we actually completely negate the fact that what we do as creatives is a business. And I'm really, truly grateful to the time that I've spent at Henley, you know, on the MBA, looking at my work and my passion at my talent through the lens of, of business, right, and commerce. <laughs>